Sorry. Okay. Sorry. And that was it. Sixty-six. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, everybody. Hi there. <laughs> Well, this little ditty is about uh, our visit to uh, Route 66, and uh, that's why I got sunglasses on. It was a great time. Didn't have a Corvette to drive around in, but wow, Route 66, it's worth checking out some of this stuff on it. And don't forget to get the cookie. The cookies, yes. You'll see the cookie place. <laughs> the cookies were good. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to give it all away, but, you know, really, uh, you know, you can't do all of Route 66, only spots here and there. But, boy, what you can do is a heck of a lot of fun. You can wear your shades and cruise Route 66. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. It was, it was. Hope you enjoy the video. Sorry we're being goofy, but, hey, it, it's us. <laughs> And uh, if you haven't seen our other videos, please check them out. Uh, consider subscribing. That would be wonderful. We'd love to have you on board. And, of course, as always, if you have any questions or comments, good or bad, please leave them below. We know we're not perfect, and we need room to grow, and you can help us do that. So thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, Our next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. See right there, it's coming, it's coming. Route 66, baby. So, um, we are at Kellogg Lake in uh, Missouri. Carthage, Missouri. Carthage, Missouri. And this is Old Route 66 Boulevard. We have a book and it suggests that when you're here, uh, this is a good starting point to run a little bit of Old Route 66. So here we go. Well, you know, so far I like it. It's got a good asphalt feel to it. it it's bumpy, it's, it's narrow. I'm not seeing any Corvettes or anything like that. Pretty cool, huh? Got, got a good 66 feel to it. At the Flying W store, there's a sculpture. This is actually a sculpture by a local artist called the Crap Duster, the Flying Manure, manure Spreader. <laughs> and this Best Budget Inn is a 1955 era motel that's been wonderfully maintained. Close to downtown Carthage, Missouri, is the Boots Court Motel, which was built in 1939 and is currently being restored. And here's a little bit of downtown Carthage, Missouri. So we're out around uh, Joplin, Missouri, Route 66, and uh, there's this bridge called the Wee Bridge, and it's because of the way it's built, it's quite the hump. And uh, back in the day when Route 66 was very popular, people would go over it and they would go wee because it's, it's quite the rush. Well, and it's scheduled for demolition. So, all right, here's the Wee Bridge, and I can see why they're going to demo it. I mean, <laughs> good boy. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Wee! Wee! Yeah, baby! Okay, <laughs> down the other side. Route 66 goes through a little bit of countryside in between Carthage and Joplin. Real pretty area. And now here's downtown Joplin.
on the west side of Joplin, they have the Route 66 Drive-In Theater. And here's the Route 66 Carousel Park, amusement park. Don't, not sure if it's still open or not. It looked like it was in pretty rough shape. Real close to the state line for Kansas and Missouri is the Hogs and Hot Rods Saloon. And here's a couple cute little things that were put out by the road just for your driving enjoyment. Coming into Galena, Kansas, we have a beautifully restored Can O Tex gas station featuring tow tater the inspiration for mater on the movie cars um this was so cute we actually had to pull over and take some pictures of this one they have an awesome coca-cola mural and a really beautiful galena route 66 mural downtown In Riverton, Kansas, they have the 1925 store, which used to be Eisler Brothers Grocery and Deli, and now it's Nielsen's. We didn't get good pictures of this because it kind of snuck up on us, but apparently they've got some pretty awesome food and a really cool embossed tin ceiling inside. And here's the Rainbow Curve Bridge. This is an old one, but they did have a load limit sign and we were fine on the load. We were actually more concerned about the height of this bridge, but we drove over it. <laughs> okay, then get back over there on that road. <laughs> Are you tired of me yet? <laughs> You're smiling. And here's the Field of Dreams baseball field. We kind of missed this one a little bit. <laughs> In the town of Baxter Springs, Kansas, they have a 1930s era Phillips 66 station that has been restored for their Route 66 Visitor Center. So cute. This town was pretty awesome and they love Route 66. We saw Route 66 souvenirs all over the place. There was just a little small section of Route 66 that went behind this McDonald's. Um, we kind of missed the second turn. We were supposed to curve off to the right, um, but we picked it up again on the other side. In Commerce, they have the 1925 era Marathon Station, which is now the Dairy King. And they're known for their burgers and their Route 66 cookies. Well, of course, we had to stop and get the Route 66 cookies. But when we went into the Dairy King, oh my goodness, the mother and son that are running the place now, so friendly. They showed us pictures of what their 
their Dairy King look like when it snows and when they have the lights on, their neon lights on at night. Just awesome folks, awesome folks to talk to. And right across the street from the Dairy King is this little green building built into the side of this big brick wall. Um, it's called Allen's Fillin Station. And uh, the folks at the Dairy King said that this stuff was just put in about 10 years ago. So this is one of those cute little things that somebody decided to build just for your driving enjoyment. And also in Miami, they have Wayland's Cuckoo Burger. And look real close at this building. There's actually a little cuckoo coming out of the, the peak of the front of the building. It's so cute. In Afton, Oklahoma, they have the Will Rogers Highway marker. And right next to that is one of the original nine foot wide Route 66 roads and it has the the Route 66 symbol on it. That was pretty awesome to see. In Venita, Oklahoma, um, they used to have the twin bridges that go over Little Cabin Creek. Um, one of them had to be taken out uh, when they put the new road in, but they did preserve the other one, which is pretty awesome. So you can see the old truss bridge. And here's the Chelsea Motor Inn in Chelsea, Oklahoma. When we got to the town of Foyle, we decided to take a little side trip and go out to Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. And right on the road where we uh, turned down to the, the park, there was this little Annie's Diner on the side, and this was so cute. We are at Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park, and this isn't exactly on Route 66. It's uh, about four miles off to the side, just a little side trip, but pretty awesome. Look at this. This gift shop and visitor center is actually um, an 11 sided building and it used to house, it's called the Fiddle House. It used to house a collection of 400 fiddles. seating areas. This is a cute place. Next is the famous Blue Whale of Catoosa. This is one of the more popular spots on Route 66 and we definitely wanted to make sure we didn't miss this one.
When we left Catoosa and the Blue Whale, um, the next thing that we were going to be driving through was Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, of course, Ed and I aren't big city people, um, and we'd already been on the road for five hours, and we knew we had almost an hour still to go to get to our campground um, before nightfall. So we actually decided to bypass Tulsa and not go through the downtown area. Um, we figured that we could, you know, go back and see it the next day. But again, being not city people, um, we did decide later on in the evening that we really didn't want to go back. Tulsa is a pretty big city. So a route that was only supposed to take us two hours <laughs> from Joplin to uh, just south of Tulsa was only supposed to take us about two hours. It ended up taking us six hours and we were so tired when we finally got to the campground, but very happy to finally be able to relax. So we got these cookies at a place that we stopped at. What was that? The Dairy King in Commerce, Oklahoma. And there was this guy inside and he was like, a wealth of knowledge about that whole history of that place. It was absolutely amazing. His parents have owned the Dairy King since the 1950s, and him and his mama were in there running the place. Really small, but apparently they make a really good burger, and these cookies are pretty awesome. All right, so it was a cool little bit of Americana as we traveled down Route 66. The next day we decided to run down to Brisk Bristow, Oklahoma uh, real quick to check out Maynard Ford, which is an old Ford dealership that's in the Art Deco style. While we were at the campground, Ed put some rubber um, shelf liner on the, the platforms for our dining room seats so our cushions would quit sliding forward on us and it worked really good. We also drove a little ways north into Sepulpa, Oklahoma to check out this Route 66 Auto Museum. Pretty awesome cars in there.
we went into the town of Sepulba because we had some letters that we needed to mail and came across this Crossroads of America sign, which is pretty awesome. I mean, this, this little town right here marks the center um, north and south and east and west of the United States. So that was pretty cool. When we left the Tulsa area heading south, um, we did run across this Skyliner Motel in Depew. And uh, we were really hoping to get the Shoe Tree because that was another of the more famous Route 66 stops. Um, but we came when we came up on the turn uh, for the road that goes back towards the shoe, shoe tree and the trading post back there, um, it was all overgrown with the trees and we knew we couldn't pull the trailer in there. So unfortunately, we missed that one.